patrocinado por Grupo Coriat. Mejores ideas para cocinar. Hola, soy Shushaman. Este día voy a preparar unas gorditas de chicharrón prensado como las hacen en la Ciudad de México. ¡Ah, ¡Riquísimas! Les van a encantar. Y están bien fáciles. Este video se lo dedico a Raúl Enrique de San Francisco, que está enfermito, tiene ya más de dos meses en el hospital porque padece de cáncer. Así que este video te lo dedico a ti, Raúl. Así que echa de ganas. Esto es lo que vamos a ocupar. Ok, these are the ingredients. We need, is possible, a tortilla machine like that. It's not, you have to use it by your hands. We need some lettuce like that, and this is cilantro and onions chopped together. We need a red hot sauce or green, whatever you want. You can see in my videos that red house or green sa green sauce in recipe. In Mexico City, this uh, sauce is very hot, so this one is hot too. And also we need some Oaxaca cheese, sort of like that. Ok, so we need some tortilla dough and you can buy this one already in super Mexican supermarkets uh, or you can see my videos on how to make tortillas or how to make pupusas but I, it's better to buy these ones in tortillerias on Mexican supermarket they have it over there and also we need a New York meat it's already marinated with my sazonador chuchemán and I leave some grease on it so they get more flavor to the meat so and also we need a chicharron press like that you can see like that is the chicharron press they sold it like that I know you guys will be asking me what about the other type of chicharron so no, no has to be this type of chicharron because I already did with the other one and it's, it was not good so you have to chop it very well with a knife or you have a grinder you can use that one ha has to be like that okay we just take a little piece of tortilla dog like that it has to be very soft like that so we're working a little bit with it we make a little hole in the middle same thing my video of pupusas but this one is different so we put some chicharron press on it then we work it like that we work it a little bit and then has to be everything has to be mixed together in the middle we work it a little bit like that with our hands and then we put it in the tortilla machine like that and then we have uh, we had to put a plastic on it we're not gonna use the handle we had to use only this part and then we press it down and then we turn it and then we press it again we have, and then one more time this is the third time and one more time we press it so the tortilla has to be very evenly each side so the gordita is ready Okay, we put some oil on the iron griddle. Just working it out a little bit. It's the griddle is already very hot, so and then we put it on it. Okay, in a few minutes we flip it over. Okay, after a few minutes later, uh, flip it over again, and I just put some oil on it so they can cook inside very well. Okay, it's almost done, so I just put the meat on it, so it can cook together. So now, we flip the meat over. And the gordita is done, but I'll be taking it out after the meat is done. So you have to make sure the gordita is cooked inside. And you have to be very careful because it's very hot with the oil. Okay, it's already done. 
and the meat is already done too that's the way I like it so let's do it now we open the gordita in the middle with a knife it's very easy to do it you see and then it's ready oh <laughs> look at this delicious okay now it's open then we we'll slide the meat Not so chops, compa. Okay, it's ready. And after this, look at this, delicious. And then we can put the hot sauce on the bottom. And this ha this sauce is very hot, so it's for me, so it's no problem. And then we put the Oaxaca cheese on it. Look at this! Oh my God, like that. So and then we put the meat on it, all the meat, and then we put the lettuce, and then we put the onions and cilantro. And then we put a little bit of hot sauce on top. And this is the gordita chicharron press. mexicana o, o pico de gallo como le llaman <risa> mm. pero sí está fenomenal mm. quiero darle la gracias a Coriat por su patrocinio en el de tour gastronómico Chuchemá que si no hubiera sido por ellos nos hubiera logrado espero que les hayan gustado esos videos así que otra mano porque está muy rica <risa> Mm. Espero les guste. Hasta la próxima. Adiós. Adiós. Adiós, amigo.